Chicago is home to North America's most valuable resources, the Great Lakes. They are more than a recreational resource. It is also a trillion dollar economic powerhouse. That's why ABC7 partnered with National Geographic as they release a special cover story on saving our Great Lakes. Over the course of several weeks, we'll break down some of the challenges facing this precious natural resource. And meteorologist Cheryl Scott kicks off our coverage of So Great, So Fragile and joins us live right now from along the lakefront. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, yes, Judy. Our city is nestled along one of our nation's greatest treasures. The Great Lakes, though grand and majestic, are a fragile freshwater ecosystem. We are diving into the many issues impacting the lakes from climate to pollution. Experts and scientists across our region, we are keeping a watchful eye and presenting solutions to save our Great Lakes. They span 750 miles west to east and are home to millions of people. You know, all the great cities that are on the shores of the Great Lakes, Chicago, Toronto, Detroit, Cleveland, Toledo, what would they be without the Great Lakes? The largest freshwater system on the earth. What would our cities be without the Great Lakes? Journalist Tim Folger spent nearly two years traveling the Great Lakes region, learning just how important yet fragile our lakes are. You know, what are the main issues um, facing the Great Lakes? What are the big problems and how can we solve them? What is the future of the Great Lakes? Number one is definitely climate change. Um, climate change just plays a role in everything from the severe weather, the flooding that Chicago and other cities are seeing, I think the second big problem, and this was kind of a surprise to me, uh, was agricultural pollution. The third, I'd say, would be invasive species. Folger's work and our partnership with National Geographic gave us the groundwork we needed to dive deep and talk to scientists, engineers, and activists in and around Chicago to find and share solutions to the important issues, like climate change and severe storms. The relationship between climate change and extremes is maybe one of the most difficult things that scientists face in terms of accurately quantifying those things. What the projections say is that we will see increasing extreme events here in the Midwest, extreme thunderstorms, uh, extreme river flooding, and also heat and humidity are all significant concerns. Another key issue, pollution in and around the Great Lakes. In order to understand how human impacts alter uh, freshwater ecosystems, for example, we need to monitor in order to take that temperature through time and through space in order to understand how healthy they are. And in addition, continuing to ward off invasive species. Stopping these species, preventing them from getting in, is really the only way that you can stop their impacts. Once they're here, it's very difficult to turn back the clock. So now is our chance to create change. Any reasonable person might look at a problem like this and say, I can't do it. It's too big. How is this sort of thing solvable? I, I get that reaction. I think that's, that's a logical place to be. But I also think there's a lot of room to be optimistic. And we'll explore how to help protect our Great Lakes in the coming weeks. We are excited about our partnership with National Geographic and launching our upcoming series, So Great, So Fragile. We hope you join us for this journey. Stay tuned for more. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.